Most Surreal Places to Visit. Hey everyone, welcome back to Taltanic. I'm your host, Alexa, and today we are going on an adventure. From pink lakes in Australia to golden temples in India, come with me and let's travel the world. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Hilarbos, Belgium. At least our first destination gives you enough time to sort out your finances and your passport because Bluebell Forest in Belgium only blooms for around two weeks in April. It's also weather dependent, but generally it's the last two weeks of the month. The pretty purple flowers carpet the entire forest and it is breathtaking. It's roughly a 30 minute drive from Brussels to get there. Salar de Uyuni, Bolivia. This is one of those destinations that you have to see to believe it. It used to be a prehistoric lake, but it's completely dried up now and all that remains is an endless landscape of flat, white salt. It's the largest salt flat in the world and during the rainy season, it turns into a gigantic mirror. You can stay at the Palacio de Sal, a hotel made entirely of salt blocks. Modern GPS technology has confirmed that the area is not flat. In fact, there are hills, peaks, and ridges that are mere millimeters high. Pemukkale Thermal Pools, Turkey. Turkey, in general, is a really cool place to visit, but make sure you don't miss out on seeing the Pemukkale Thermal Pools located in the southwest region of the country. The travertine terraces hold hot springs as a result of earthquakes that took place 400,000 years ago. It's earned the nickname the Cotton Castle, and it's the location of the ancient Greco-Roman city known as Hierapolis. It's the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Lake Hillier, Australia. In the pink is where you'll find yourself if you're heading to this saline lake in Australia. Lake Hillier is pink due to the combination of a high saline content and the algae in the water. It spans across one and a half hectares or 3.7 acres. And unlike other pink lakes, this one maintains this pink shade all year round. The reason it's pink is not 100% confirmed, but scientists believe it's probably because of the presence of Dunaliella salina microalgae or possibly the red halophilic bacteria in the salt crusts. Meteora, Greece. Meteora has several meanings, middle of the sky, suspended in the air, or in the heavens above. It's an important complex of the Greek Orthodox monasteries and monks of the Byzantine era believed building their monasteries high on the rocks would bring them closer to God. 24 monasteries were originally built, but only six remain today. Skotsian Caves, Slovenia. If you suffer from claustrophobia, then best to skip this spot, but if you don't, you're very fortunate. A trip down into the caves make you feel like you are entering another realm. There are pathways lit by colorful lamps and they'll take you to underground lakes, waterfalls, chambers, and hidden caves. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is home to Europe's largest underground gorge. Due to the unusual conditions inside the caves, a unique ecosystem has developed inside. Fly Ranch Geyser, Nevada. Formerly known as Ward's Hot Springs, this geothermal geyser came about accidentally in 1964 when the area wasn't capped properly by well drillers. The result was an accumulation of minerals rising and a geyser effect of water that is continually spraying. The different colors are from the various mineral deposits, yellow from the sulfur, red from iron, and green from algae. Some of the springs in the area can reach temperatures of 219 degrees Fahrenheit and 286 degrees Fahrenheit below the surface. Devil's Tower, Wyoming. You'll recognize this surreal rock formation if you've watched Close Encounters of the Third Kind. This rock formation is sacred to many Native American tribes and it's still the site of ceremonial rituals and offerings. If you're visiting, never remove anything from the area as bad luck is sure to follow. This was America's first official monument, and it's thought to be an igneous intrusion, an underground formation of molten rock, or magma, that pushed to the surface. It's estimated to be 50 million years old. The Wave, Arizona. Sticking with rocks, this incredible rock is the result of eroded sand. Tourists who want to visit must play a type of lottery to enter as only 20 permits are given out each day. 10 are awarded through an online lottery which opens four months in advance, and the other 10 are awarded the day before you want to visit. The colors of the sand are intense and range from red, orange, yellow, pink, green, and white. Those that have had the privilege of heading there say the most surreal experiences after it's rained and the puddles are filled with tadpoles and fairy shrimp. 
Pig Beach, the Bahamas. The Bahamas is a fabulous travel destination. White sand, blue seas, and pigs. Well, if you're on Pig Island, that's what you'll expect to see. There are groups of feral pigs that love the water and are accustomed to receiving treats from tourists in exchange for some quirky, unusual photographs. Many theories abound about how the pigs got there, the most popular being that a ship that dropped them there with the intention of returning and retrieving them never made it back. Rainbow Mountains, China Peru actually has a similar mountain range, and it's the result of thousands of years of wind and rain beating against the mountain range. Zhangyi Dangxia Landform is a mix of browns, greens, reds, and yellows, and received its official geopark status in 2011. Toswa Pool, Samoa even if you're not a water lover, a trip here will still take your breath away. Located in Lotofaga Village, this big hole is surrounded by greenery and beautiful gardens and sits in the middle of a lava field. There is one ladder that gets you into the watering hole, and the hole is filled with seawater. There's a tunnel underneath that connects it to the ocean. National Forest Park, China Hunan Province in China is home to this surreal national park that boasts 243 peaks and over 3,000 quartzite sandstone pillars and spires. These formations are what inspired the Hallelujah Mountain Range setting and avatar. One of the quartz sandstone pillars has been renamed Avatar Hallelujah Mountain. It was believed that the formations were caused by chemical erosion, but it's been confirmed that it's the result of physical erosion. Weather in the area is wet, which makes it lush and green year-round. The Golden Temple, India This iconic temple is an Amritsar, and it provides meals and shelter to pilgrims regardless of race, religion, or creed. Each day, 100,000 people are given a meal from here, and the meals are prepared by volunteers. An experience you will never forget is eating on the floor amongst thousands of other pilgrims. The top of the temple is made from pure gold, and you can enter from any side of the building to show that they are all accepting. Red Beach, China Don't expect to sink your feet into red soft sand at Panjin's Red Beach because the red is a species of seaweed called sueda. It's not always red and is green most of the year. It changes color when autumn arrives. The area has over 260 species of birds and around 400 types of animals, making this an intriguing ecosystem to explore. It's also one of the biggest wetlands and reed marsh areas in the world. Lishan Giant Buddha, China While you're in China, take a trip to Sichuan Province to view the Lishan Giant Buddha statue. It was commissioned in 713 and took thousands of workers 90 years to complete. The Buddha has over 1,000 buns in his hair, and he must be continually maintained throughout the year. Tsingi de Bay Maraha, Madagascar Covering an area of 1,520 square kilometers, or just under 600 square miles, this World Heritage Site is roughly half rock formations and half forest. The pointy rock formations are called tsingis, and the ecosystem here is also unique. You'll find 140 different types of birds and 650 plant species. It's not easy to reach this destination as it is so isolated, but it's definitely worth the effort to get there. Trolltunga, Norway Translated, it means troll's tongue, and it's a precarious rock formation that hangs over a lake. Brave visitors crawl to the edge to soak in the surreal views of the Norwegian landscape. It's 2,300 feet high, and in 2010, only 800 people hiked to the top. But now, more than 80,000 people head there each year. The hike has been classed as quote-unquote challenging, so make sure you're fit and wearing the right gear to complete it. Vitserkor, North Iceland you can decide what you think it looks like, a dragon or a monster. Regardless, this rock formation is a must-see. It's on the northern tip of the Vatnsnes Peninsula in Iceland and is 15 meters or 49 feet high. It is streaked with white bird droppings, which is why it is called Vitserkor, meaning white shirt. Marble Caves, Patagonia This surreal spot boasts an abundance of beautiful marble caves located in the middle of the General Carrera Lake in Patagonia. You can only enter in a small boat, and there are plenty of tour companies taking people on 30-minute tours of the caves. The caves were formed with the constant waves crashing against calcium carbonite for over 6,000 years. The weight of the marble caves is estimated at 5 billion tons, and although it's mainly blue and gray, you do find a little pink here and there. 
Matera, Italy. This is one of the oldest continuously inhabited towns in the world and has been inhabited since the Neolithic period. The place was said to be an embarrassment to Italy. That was until the 1950s when a resettlement plan was put in place. When the area was properly explored, they then realized just how old it really was. A 150,000 year old hominid skeleton was discovered and now it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, attracting huge numbers of tourists every year. Zhuzhaigou Valley, China. It means Valley of Nine Villages. This is a revered area by the local Tibetan people. The area spans across 72,000 hectares and boasts crystal clear lakes, waterfalls, thousands of higher plant species, and forests that look like they're from a fairy tale. It's a world biosphere reserve and roughly 7,000 people visit this area every day. Tunnel of Love, Ukraine. It's hard to believe this is real and it's a must see in Ukraine. Described as the most romantic place in the world, lovers who make a wish will see it come to reality, but only if their love is real. Trains still use the tunnel, so make sure you know the schedule before making your wish. Huacachina, Peru. You've heard the saying, an oasis in the desert. Well, this is truly that. It's called the Oasis of the Americas. It's as if the oasis is not aware of the harsh environment surrounding it. Tourists have been visiting this spot for more than 70 years, but its future is uncertain. Water levels have dropped dramatically and locals have been pumping water from external sources just to maintain it. Finances are a problem though, and the longevity of such a massive task is unclear. Have you ever visited any of these surreal destinations? If you haven't, which would be your first choice? Let me know down in the comments below. 1. Pink Forest, Ireland This beautiful spot has seen a few online arguments arise as to whether it's real or not. Some have claimed it to be a heavily guarded secret by the fairies and leprechauns, while others claim that there are algae in the water which changes everything to this beautiful pink color. So it seems the forest does exist, but maybe it's not as pink and comes in regular green and brown colors of what you might expect from forests. It's located in Bridges Park, Comid, Ireland, and this was done by someone who clearly has too much time on their hands. By the way, it's still a surreal spot to visit, even though it may not always be pink.